is so powerful. I've had people calling me here and there. I've got your new name, Sabe Kano, and Miss Rewa. Who do Victory Charismatic Chapel? I want to know, Sabe Kano, you have more born. You meet. I'm waiting your friend for any event. It's very good. Spirit Phil song. And so we are going straight to our papa. Now, Odi Nyanko Pwansem, Edi Abre, Ewo Pio, 95.7. Sede, Yawa Debiya, Nyanko Pwansem, Edi Pa, Edi Bre. Papa, Akwa Bebiyum. That's it. Nice. Yeah, then you can go for a supper. But when the dinner you be seen, and the person is here, say, Yanko points to that Bible. Wow, pray. Wow. And any petty pen robe by. But they see who feel your mess and say, Yamu Shirawa or Bow Mumbai. Wow. Wow. Yes, I'm a bit. Wow. Mate nature had din. Na me de masuwa tu fomu me biya kumeni mdi aji nyanko pwa nse mebe na me wujidi ese nyanko pwa mbambo na indu isa ase mne mkwe wye na na eke se ewa yen shraba yamu nyanko pwa nsha Amen Well listeners once again we are coming your way with our turning point program Eti fwa bie mu ye ba monche ye de ye jume dia ya se sa iti mi dani wa bra bwa ni e de bro and we want to thank our sponsors that made it possible for us to come on air. Now, once so, oh boy, I am the Yawa the Bia Yetimi Bam from Memono Yedawase. It's our prayer that God will increase them in every area of their life. I am Pai Boniso Nanko Pombemo Madore, Wabrabo Fenina. And we never cease to mention their names in our prayers when we go before God. Now, you call your name a one Pai Bomu Nanko Ponimsoa. Also, we want to thank our church members that they always stand with us. Uh, personally, I am proud that I'm a leader of this church. And uh, I don't take this relationship for granted. And listeners, get ready to join us very soon. Our media team arranging for us. We are going to introduce what I call Midnight Cry that every night between 12 p.m. and 4 a.m. we'll be praying together. We call it Midnight Cry. And we're also going to introduce what I call early will I seek thee, that is our morning devotion service. And tonight we want to continue our series of teaching that was named uh, The Blessing Make It. Yeah, We've considered the power of the blessing and the release of the blessing and the godly way to your blessing. Tonight we want to talk about preserved by the blessing. Let's quickly turn to Isaiah chapter 65, verse number 8. We are reading from the New King James Version, Isaiah 65, verse number 8. That's the of the Lord. As the new one is found in the cluster, and one says, Do not destroy it, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. Isaiah tia do siya num, yimu watre, sa radi siye ni, sa di en sa ba bobe abba isi, bobe abba isi ya mwa, wakan se en sa yinu, na washida, na en shida wumuno, so, this is the verse that introduced to us that God intends to bless us and we will not be destroyed. Now, 
the prophet is declaring to us he said that says the lord as the new one is found in the cluster and one says do not destroy it for a blessing is in it do not destroy it for a blessing in it so will i do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. Father, give us quick understanding in your word tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So now we see that when God blesses you, he makes sure that nothing destroys you. Preserved by the blessing. By way of introduction, let me give you two things to note. We are considering understanding the preservation power of the blessing of God. Number two, understanding how the blessing preserves. The blessing of God is far beyond material supply. Many of us think that money, cars, uh, houses are only blessing. Yes, it's true, but it goes beyond that. That's why the proverb said that the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he add no sorrow to it. The blessing of God is the combination of divine protection with divine provision. Also, it is possible to have provision without protection that's why isaiah said do not destroy it because there's a blessing in it that's why the lord as the new one is found in the cluster and one said do not destroy it for a blessing is in it for my servant's sake, I will do it. For my servant's sake, I will not destroy them all. Last week, I met a lady who said, Pastor, pray for me because I'm afraid of witches. Because of that, wherever I go, I carry my water with me. And I said, why do you do this? Then she said, I'm afraid of people. Tonight, I want to encourage you, if God has blessed you, don't, don't entertain fear because the Lord said, there's a blessing in you and you cannot be destroyed. And we are Let's quickly consider that Bible example that God blessed them and preserved them by his blessing. Example number one is Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. We see how God blessed Noah and preserved him and his family. Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 to 2 Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 to 2 So God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth <coughs> verse 2 and the fear of you not at all and the fear of you and the dread of you <coughs> shall be on every beast of the earth on every bed of the earth on all that move on the earth and all of the fish of the sea, they are given into your hand. The, the first part of verse 2 said that, And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth. No, 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 no,
ene mu husu em no asase so mu adoma enyina na ewiem no ma enyina de ewia fom nyina ne epomu mpata enyina so monsa ene wode wahye che no so wose na mu huhu ene mu husu em no asase so mu adoma enyina when god blesses you he makes you that the devil is afraid of you and the people around you they are afraid of you that's why i've titled my message uh, message preserved by the blessing the second bible example that we'll consider <coughs> is genesis chapter 20 <coughs> verse 3 <coughs> We see Abraham that the blessing of God both preserved him and 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 and, and, and uh, gave him victory in battle. But God gave to Abimelech. Uh, sorry, but God came to Abimelech in a dream by night uh, and said to them, "Be fruitful." No, 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 please. Genesis chapter 20, verse number 3. Chapter 20, verse 3. Okay. <coughs> but God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Indeed, you are a dead man because of the woman, because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. Genesis, it's here, do you know me, sir? No, Yanko Pon Babi Melek in China, do Diamo. A catcher and a sashay. Or Bawa Kofano in two be woo, if you saw your bear may be re. We see that Abraham's wife Sarah, Abimelech wanted to harm her because of the blessing of God around them. The Lord appeared to Abimelech and said, You are a dead man. A higher who said, O Yanko Pon, a Babi Melek in China, the catcher and so be woo. When God blesses you, whoever touches you, whoever fight against you, the Lord deals with him. Preserved by the blessing. The third Bible example that we we'll consider is in Genesis chapter 26, verse 17 to 22. We see that the blessing on Isaac made Isaac unstoppable, irresistible, and mightier than the enemies. And God is telling you tonight that because of his blessing, nothing can stop you and you'll be mightier than your enemy. That's why when your father or your mother or your pastor or anyone says the Lord bless you, it means a lot. And when we say God bless you, it means you carry a force that makes you irresistible or unstoppable. So tonight, all those who are listening to me, I lift up my hands and declare that the Lord bless you, bless your business, bless your family, bless whatever you do in the name of Jesus. May you carry a, a, a force that, that nothing can stop you. If you remember those who have been following me for the past week, when I talk about the release of the blessing, we saw how the family of Rebecca released the blessing over her life. So, the fourth Bible example that we will consider is in Genesis chapter 31, verse 40 to 42. In this verse, we see that the blessing preserved Jacob from destruction when he said Laban. Genesis 
a hansi hun se o nyanko pon boye ko pon bany e fila ban hon thus i have been in your house 20 years i said you 14 years for your two daughters mm -hmm. and six years for your flock and you have changed my wages 10 times genesis et tiye duya saba ku yi mwa duya nae ba kono saana mi di wu fie mfin shie du no wo mama ba nu hon me son mo e fie du nae eni wo mwa kwa hon so e fie nsia na wo dane ma kwa tiye ni e mpre du verse 42 Unless the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely now you would have sent me away empty-handed. God has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuke you last night. He said, 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 me bre ne me nsa ano adwumaye eno nyankopon hunu ye na waka wanim eno anadwo beloved let me encourage you tonight and though you have served someone you think that you have served the lord and nothing is happening i prophesy to you that within 3 days the lord is going to reward you amen odo for my mean so cry e bia wasum nyankopon na wasum obi wa adwuna ne se bibi mfiri mu mai anadwo mi so nkuna nse o nyankopon bechira and I quite remember when I was a boy that one night my mother woke up praying and while she was praying, singing this song in tree, near Yehovah Shiran on Onipebion to me said it was a touching song that I always I mean remember when I remember that God is blessing us. When God blesses you, nothing can destroy you. Jacob said, if not because of the, the, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, uh, who was on my side, you have sent me empty-handed, but God has rewarded me. Jacob said, in this verse, let me give you uh, one thing to know that if the blessing of God is on your life, you are not a wasteable material. So, nyankopo ensa anase ni nshira wa bra boswa, ume ye obia wa saya edu ye bibi enye ye. The last Bible example that we consider is in Job. Job chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. Ye toswa ye shwe yob, eti bako. We see that God was behind Job. And because of the blessing of God was over his life, before fear arrived, there was a blessing. Many of us are afraid that when God blesses us, we will die soon. There is a family that the enemy has sowed some evil seed in that family that when you reach a certain point in your age, you will die. But tonight, I break that curse in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tonight I am taking time to teach you about preserved by the blessing. So now giving you Bible examples how that the blessing preserved the blessed. So now let's consider how that the blessing preserved the blessed. Number one, the blessing of God establishes the fear and dread of the Lord upon the life of the blessed. Let me say it again. The blessing of God establishes the fear and dread of the Lord upon the life of the blessed. In Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 to 2 we see it. Because the Lord has blessed you, don't ever entertain any fears. Because he has established his fear and dread 
on your enemies. It says what the one who only throw at what I'm for so. When the enemy sees you, they they they, they run from you. It is what I'm for who pet no we join no one name. Let me give you a funny story. My man can't say same one show. Uh, one time, a Methodist preacher told us this story. Hey, a Methodist suffer being a can't say one show. It sounds funny, but but there's power in it. As soon as to me, um, uh, a goat was running from a lion one day. Now, now, be Daniel free that are in him. Then it found itself standing in front of a lion. Now, so old Janino, or who you know, as I could not that are crowned any. Then the lion asked the goats, and I that are nebusa upon Chenese, why are you alive? I didn't crown out, I say. Give me three things while you are alive. The God said, Today you are not hungry. That's number one. <laughs> if you are hungry, lion, you will have finished me today. If you say, Because you are blessed, you yes. cannot be destroyed. And the second answer that the God gave it to the lion, he said, Why are you alive today? Was it Not only that you are not hungry, but number two, he said, I didn't know that uh, I will pass by this road. Was it there? If I know that I will pass this road and meet you, I wouldn't have passed your crowd. And the the, the, lion, the, uh, the lion said, Oh, okay, you are right. And now that I saw what can you hear? Number one, because I'm not hungry. Number two, because you didn't know that I stand here, you wouldn't have passed here. Then what's number three? And also the edica will say. The number three, he said that if I leave you now and go and tell the people outside there, they would not believe that I met you, lion. And now said they Then the lion said, "Thank you. You have passed the exam. Go. You are free." You see, it sounds so funny, but that there's a lesson that we can learn from it. The blessing of God establishes the fear and dread of the Lord upon the life of the blessed. How that the blessing preserved the blessed. Number two. The blessing of God establishes a supernatural shield of defense around the life of the blessed. So when you read Job chapter 1 verse 10, you see, I know a woman who told uh, 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 one of uh, uh, her sister's daughter, she said, this marriage there, we will see if she will enjoy the marriage. She said, over my dead body, let me encourage you. No matter wh uh, uh, whatever people have said about you, you will make it. The blessing of God establishes a supernatural shield of defense around the life of the blessed. In Job chapter 1, verse 10. Job chapter 1, verse 10. Even the devil testified that because of the blessing of God, God has protected Job. He said, Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. Preserved by the blessed. 
So number two, the blessing of God establishes a supernatural shield of defense around the life of the blessed. Tonight, as you listen to me, I want you to spend about 15 minutes before you go to bed and say, Lord, bless whatever I do. Lord, and so let your supernatural sword of defense be around me. Be around my family. In the name of Jesus. Let me sing a song that I love so much. I quite remember a church of Pentecost apostles sang this song. Oh, <laughs> Oh, tonight i want you to sing this song with me because the blessing of god establishes a supernatural shield of defense around the life of the blessed how that the blessing preserve the blessed number three the blessing of god establishes the rebuke of the lord against the enemy on the life of the blessed when god blesses you remember our foundational text that i quoted that Isaiah 65 verse 8. The, the Lord said, do not destroy it because there's a blessing in it. And this is what I'm going to do for my servant's sake. That I may not destroy them all. Because of the blessing of God over your life, nothing can destroy you. And may the rebuke of the Lord stand against your enemies tonight. When you read Psalm 105 verse 14 and 15, this is the, the, the verse that, that I used to pray for our church members last night. Psalm 105 verse 14 and 15. Good. He permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sake. Verse 15. Saying, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Do not touch the one that God has anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Because the blessing of God establishes the rebuke of the Lord against the enemy on the life of the blessed. How that the blessing preserve the blessed. Number four. The blessing of God establishes and positions rescue angels around the life of the blessed. So 
When God blesses you, he surrounds your life with the rescue angels. When Jacob was blessing his sons and his, his, his daughters, and blessing his children's children's children. No son mama nyinano. He pronounced over their life and said that the angel that delivered me, the angel that rescued me, be with these children. In shrani bi ni se obofo ano kame hono obofo wo yi mi no ono an kame hona wo ni monso so. In Genesis chapter forty-eight verse fifteen to sixteen. Genesis eti edron edronai enwo cheno. When God blesses you. He establishes and positions you with the rescued angels around you. I had a testimony from Nigeria years back. That a lady was uh, 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 kidnapped. And they tried to harm her, but they couldn't. Another lady was passing by. It's not bad for and they couldn't uh, uh, even touch her. The later policemen arrested all the men. And the, the first lady they caught her to come and identify them, but she couldn't. And the second one who came uh, and they couldn't touch her, she came and she was able to identify those guys. And the policemen at the arm robber, they said, how come that you couldn't touch this lady? And the second girl was a, a spirit-filled Christian, uh, live a holy life, live a godly life, and fear God. And the armed robbers told the policemen, they said, this lady, she was not alone. This lady had about seven strong men, stronger than us, uh, than us, mm. mightier than us, and because of that, we couldn't touch her. Mm. And 